I seen uh, Steve Stout. I seen a clip going around of Steve Stout sitting with Shannon Sharp talking specifically about why Dame Dash is no longer the guy that you work with in any capacity and how he continues to burn bridges. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. Let's get it rocking. Even the Damon Dash interview, as fucked up as that was, he's a gigantic, almost, almost not. He blew it. He had Jay-Z, he had the most important artist of his so, generation. So, so what happened with that relationship? How did that relationship that was so good sour so fast? Dame's antics were just, it became, like people also, over time, you mature. Right. It's like, you didn't have friends at 16, but by the time you turned 19, they were still doing the same shit right. that you was 16, right. and right. you're like, right. I can't. Like, yeah, we gotta I, I gotta, I, yeah, we gotta, you know, I, you start spending less and less time with them because right. of it. It's like one of those things where Dame, Dame, yo, Fi, you still you still riding in the same camp, or have you changed your perspective towards this thing? Didn't change the way he spoke to people, the way he treated people. His, he was angry about what, bro? You getting paper? He was angry because he had a strong perspective about his business philosophy. And if any time a partner of theirs tried to like go around him or, um, meanwhile, people weren't going around him. The people around him wanted to meet with other people. Right. They, they, people wanted were becoming less beholden to him, but he was unaware of it. Then he would like, you know, while he was building businesses, which partly he was, he would go off all around the world with cameras and girls and all kinds of crazy shit and then come back flipping out on everybody as if, you know. They were wrong. Yeah, or, or like, why'd you guys do all this shit without me? Like, bro, you didn't build a business that was so operationally tight that you could just go away and come back and right. shit be the same and all that shit. It wasn't even like that. Jay grew up, you know, Jay wanted more. I think Jay seen Dame's ceiling. Let's stop there for a minute. Think so, Brittany? Brittany says Jay-Z was dirty. That's why. Really? You think so, huh? Okay, cool. So when there's a pattern, this is what I've learned. When there's a pattern, when every single person around you say, nah, I don't mess with that dude, or nah, I can't do no business with that dude, or you know what? I'm going to just not say nothing. Because let's be clear, Jay haven't said anything, anything about Dame. Jay has not done one interview where he speaks about Dame. Meanwhile, Dame has done hundreds of clips and interviews where he's always speaking about what's wrong with everybody else. It's everybody else's fault. It's the system's fault. It's currency's fault. It's Big Crit's fault. It's Stolly's fault. It's Jay-Z's fault. If Lear is Lear Corn's fault, is Vlad's fault, it's it's who else is he named? Right off the top of our head. It's Charlemagne's fault. It's Steve Stout's fault. It's every single I have never seen not one time Dame say, you know what? I might have been a little bit off on that. Or man, I fumbled a bag on that one. You don't own people. That's what he found out with Jay. What Jay wound up saying is, okay, if you made me, then make another me if you're that great. If you made me, then make a... Look, I knew Black is Back was going to show up. Make sure you show up for after hours tonight. If you made me, then make another me. Listen, how come every single person, every single person, Every single person that you didn't ever work with say, ah, ah, I don't really mess with you no more. And listen, sometimes, and I say this all the time, you just grow in two different directions. So am I obligated to make sure that you make money for the rest of your life? Or can we have made money? It was a time in history where we got to the bag 
and we created this great thing. It's ran its course, and now we're moving over into a different thing. Am I always responsible for you to be okay for the rest of your life? Grown men complaining about other grown men for their entire life. Now, let's be clear. We've all seen the meetings. We've all seen the videos of him walking in and spazzing out and going off on people and saying this and saying that. We all familiar with the different stories about how he made Cam president of Rockefeller while Jay-Z was, uh, was out of town and all of this. We've seen all of this. We've seen it over and over again. You know the one thing that I don't rock with? I don't rock with victims. I don't rock with victims. If you always the person that's complaining about why somebody else ain't do something for you, I don't rock with victims because it flies once or twice. And then you could be validated sometimes. Hey, man, this person, I gave them some money. They didn't pay me back. Okay, I, I feel you. That person is dirty. Everybody, though, everybody you'd have never ran into, every single person is bad. Every single person. Listen, if you the type of person that think like that, just stay far away from me. If you're the type of person that thinks that everybody is bad and everybody owe you something and you never, ever, ever take responsibility for anything that you do, but everybody that just keep on winning, they just be like, man, we ain't even going to pay no attention. We ain't even going to say nothing. Every single person that you'd have never kicked it with. He said it. He said, listen, man, Jay, Jay wanted to do bigger and better things, and he's seen Dame ceiling. I can't continue to rock with anything that you're doing. I wonder how much money Jay owed Dame. Oh, nothing? Don't nobody owe nobody no money. So everybody got money, and everybody chilling. Okay, cool. Let me see if he's saying anything else, because I'm going to save this. For after hours. I don't want to deep dive. I have not seen this yet. I've seen a small little clip on Instagram. I said, oh, I didn't know Steve Stout was talking that. I actually read Steve Stout's book. I got it in the other room. It's called The Tannin of America. And I think that's really what it was. I mean, uh, uh, Jay seen Dame ceiling. You can't fault a man for wanting to get better. No, nah, he wanted to. He wanted more. And um, everybody wanted more. I, I, Dame just had a very particular way of approaching it. He wasn't, he's far from stupid. Right. Very, very, very smart. Right. Uh, very talented. Ego through the Facts roof. To through the roof. So you, there was no working with him. Right. That, 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 no one wanted to work with him. There was no work. Yeah, well, that, as much talented as, talent as he has, nobody wanted to work with him. People got to want to work with Jimmy him. Jimmy Iveen had this line, when the shit gets bigger than the cat, you got to get rid of the cat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Were you cool with Jay Z and Nas when they had their beef? Yeah. So how did you, how did you stay Switzerland to stay neutral? All right, I don't want to go into that. Um, I just wanted to see what it is that he said about Dame, and I wanted to get it in its full context. Uh, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We're gonna talk about it on After Hours tonight. We're gonna deep dive into it. So if you know he's smart, why question his business acumen? Because just because you're smart, don't mean that you make good business decisions. That's why they say A and B students work for C students. Come on, man. Y'all barking up the wrong tree today. I got time tonight. I got time tonight. Listen, man. You have to grow up. You cannot still be the same person that you was when you're 20, when you're 30, when you're 40, when you're 50. Everybody don't want to be. No, no, no. I'm going to dig into a couple more. I heard. I seen some other clips by Brown. So I'm going to dig into it a little bit more on – um. On After Hours tonight. Make sure y'all tap in because I think it's going to be a phenomenal show. You have to evolve past where you are in order to grow into the person that you're supposed to become. I run into people. You know what's so funny? I run into people all the time, whether it be from high school or college or back when I used to work with this particular person. And I run into them and they'd be like, hey, man, remember when we was this? Or, oh, dog, do you still rap? That's what they ask me. Hey, man, do you still rap? No, I don't. Oh, man, well, remember when we was running around? With it? And I be thinking to myself, oh, I was trying to forget that. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't supposed to be doing that. Yeah, it was interesting times back then. And it's funny to hear people talk from the past a lot of times that's already reached their peak and they never going to go any further than where they are because people that are getting money and that's busy want to talk about the future.
And this is just the honest to God truth. People that's getting money and that's busy and running it up, they want to talk about the possibilities. They want to talk about the future. They want to talk about things that's going to come, come and go forward. They want to look at the opportunities. And people that's already reached their peak, they want to talk about what y'all did in the past. And I used to see those type of people when I was growing up. I would see them at the gas station, you know, just people in general. And, you know, I would see them at the liquor store when we would walk to the liquor store and stuff like that. And they'd be like, oh, man, back in my day, we was this and that. Man, I don't want to, I don't care nothing about back in your day. <laughs> when I see people that see me, oh, man, time. Yo, what up, what up, what's going on, man? What up, fam? Seen a guy that pulled up to me when I was in traffic the other day. Hey, man, what's going on? And I didn't recognize who he was. And he was like, yeah, man, I went to school with you. And I was like, oh, that's what's up. Yeah, man, I see you winning. I see you take, doing your thing. Remember when I, we was in high school and we was doing this? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, so what you got going on right now? Oh, nothing. You don't want to talk about the future? You don't want to talk about possibilities? I thought you was, I rolled my window down. I thought we was going to exchange some information so we can go and get some money going forward. Man, don't you re realize that we graduated 24 years ago? We gra Look, we graduated 24 years ago. In 2000, June of 2000, we crossed the stage. The minute that I crossed the stage when I graduated, I was like, Psh, I'm out of here. I'm on to bigger and better things. Hey, man, let's go get this money. Man, I don't care. I don't care about high school was a great time for me. I had a ball, but that was in high school. You know what I'm saying? College was a fun time for me. But that was two and a half decades ago. Ah, man, remember when we was on the block? And it, bro, I ain't rapped in like two decades. Man, I, ain't, I don't write rhymes. I write checks. I wouldn't want, I wouldn't rap if I knew, if I still knew how to rap, if I still remembered any of the rhymes that I had in the notebook, I still wouldn't do it. You know why? Because even if I did do it, if I got involved in the business, I would want to be the one that's on the back end. That's not in front of the camera. I would want to just use my influence in, in order to continue to promote people and write the checks. I, I don't want to do what I was doing. And that's why I understood when Jay was like, listen, if you want, if you want the old me, go listen to my old stuff. I'm in a whole nother lane. I'm doing a whole nother thing. I'm in a whole nother. I don't want to do the same stuff that I did in yesteryear. Man, listen, I don't even go to reunions. Honestly, I don't want to. I don't go to reunions. They watch me every day on the on the Millionaire Morning Show. I don't I don't need to go and see what you're doing. You already know what you know. Listen, why would I go to a reunion and you know everything about my life already? You already got the update. You already got the update. What what do you what do I need to what do you need to know? What else? You got my whole life is online. You know what I'm talking about tomorrow. You know what I got what I'm talking about today. You got the update on me. Why do I why do I need to you want me to sit there and reminisce about the past? Man, let's go get some money tomorrow. And so I'm always amazed at people that so, they stuck. They stuck. They are stuck in a space. And it's like, I love my people from school. Shout out to my cast technicians. Shout out to all of my dogs. Shout out to the people from the hood. Shout out to people, the sconies, all of the eight mile sconies and all of that. Shout out, shout out to the seven mile bloods and you know, all of those people and all of that stuff. But, man, if we're not buying up the neighborhood to tear down the houses that's dilapidated in order to build up the community, then what the heck we got? We, what, what are we talking about? You can look me up. I got, I got the most recent videos up online. And so when I see people still stuck in the same way of thinking, I realize that it's not that they maybe be a bad person, but it's time for me to evolve. Man, listen, it's people on the Internet. It's people on YouTube. And I'm going to wrap this up because I got a meeting that I got to go into in a couple minutes. It's people on YouTube that I used to, you know, have a channel with and stuff like that. I, we talked on the phone. Hey, man, listen, congratulations. Do your thing. Listen, I don't agree with you with the way that you did. And this is what I said. I don't agree with the way that you did business, uh, but I just don't have time to continue to chase this down. Uh, I don't really care that much. I'm going in this whole nother direction. Let me focus on what I got going on over there. Do your thing. 
I'm not about to talk about their personal business or reminisce about the past. People be asking me about different platforms that I was that I was a part of. We made history. We did great things. I don't like the way that the business shook out. I decided, I decided listen, I'm going to walk away and watch me do my thing. I, I've continued to grow and blossom. I ain't worried about what they got going on over there no more. I'm doing my own thing. God bless you. We did some great things. We, we, we ran up a check. We, we made a lot of money at the time. We didn't agree on the direction that we was going in going forward. And so I decided that I wanted to continue to expand my brand beyond there. Now, listen, I know that y'all still trying to find another Anton. God bless you. God bless you. I ain't, I ain't got time for that. I don't agree, but I'm not going to sit here and keep talking about stuff that we did in the past. I'm keeping it moving. I'm in a whole nother lane, man. We running it up. Shout out to the content creators that continue to grow beyond where they was. I'm not talking. I mean, I'm not about to sit here and keep talking about, hey, man, Anton, you going to ever go over there and fix this? No. I'm not. Dang, homie. In high school, you was the man, homie. What the F happened to you?